was I tried a bunch of different things. I tried diets. I tried personal training. I tried counselors. So I tried everything. And when I heard, I heard about it, I'm like, oh, let me see what it is exactly. So it's like, what do you do was, how can I put it this, was everything I needed. Like it was my nutrition, my mind, myself. Let's put it that way. I was focused on me without the guilt because I'm a very controlled person. If I don't do everything 100%, I'm like, okay, whatever. Then I give up. I rather give up than feel like as I fell. But when I started work with you, it was something new. I was not so sure, but it was something new. I'm like, okay, let's try. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm starting a new series of videos where I interview one of my clients to share a little bit of their journey. So today, I'm talking with Carrie. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for accepting to be part of this series of videos. I'm very grateful for you. I just would like to know a little bit of your journey. Where are you from? How old are you? So first, I want to say thank you to you. <laughs> because, uh, oh my God, you helped me so much. So many ways. So many ways. And uh, it's my pleasure to be sharing with you and everybody else because you are just amazing as a, <laughs> as a professional. So I'm from Brazil and my name is Carrie. So I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions so, so people understand a little bit of the work that I do and a little bit of the transformation that anybody can actually achieve. Where, where do you live right now? You live in New York, right? Uh, New York. Okay. Uh, it's Long Island. Long Island. And, and what do you do? I know you have kids. So I'm a realtor, but my era, it's like flip. I'm pretty much on my schedule. Like I do my schedule. I have two kids. So I work full time. I'm mom full time. I'm a wife full time. So it's like three jobs constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it is, but thank God you helped me so many ways. And the always I take care of everybody else, like the kids, the house, everybody else, the clients. And my life always was on hold, like my health, my goals, like my personal life was very messy. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy you feel much better now. I know you need a lot of energy to be a full-time mom, to be a wife, to be an entrepreneur. Like I know you are you're investing in real estate, you're flipping houses, you're a router, you're doing a lot of things that require a lot of energy. So I'm, I'm really happy to, to know that you feel good, you feel energized. Yeah. So what made you decide to start working with me using the health coaching method? Because health coach is very new and a lot of people don't even know what it is. So uh, I always help everybody what I said before. Like I always take care of, of everything. Like business, I was good, but my nutrition, I did not even remember what I have for breakfast. If I have breakfast, if I have lunch, what did I eat? What time it is? So was I tried a bunch of different things. I tried diets. I tried personal training. I tried uh, counselors. So I tried everything. And when I, he I heard about it, I'm like, oh, let me see what it is exactly. So it's like, what do you do was, how can I put it this, was everything I needed. Like it was my nutrition, my mind, my, myself, let's put it that way. I was focused on me without the guilt because I'm a very controlled person. If I don't do everything 100%, I'm like, okay, whatever. Then I give up. I rather give up than feel like as I fell. But when I started work with you, it was something new. I was not so sure. But it was something new. I'm like, okay, let's try. 
and it was the best thing I ever had. <laughs> I have I ever tried because first you make things easy. The first thing you work with me and it was amazing. You took the guilt way because I was feel guilt. I oh I did not go to the gym. Oh I did not do this. I didn't. Oh my God! You know what? Whatever. I try another time. So you always say to me, "Okay, Carrie." You ate that today, it's fine. Tomorrow is new day, so it's sad again. And if you eat bad again, it's okay. But when you remember you are not the way you are, you stop. And th then you stop eating light, but don't feel guilt, give you your best, you know, and let's go little by little. Because before it was like this, I was on diet and I ate something bad. I'm like, oh, if I ate this, French fries, let me have the burger and the milkshake as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> what you told me, like, okay, are you craving fries, French fries? Eat the French fries. But all right, don't go for the burger and the milkshake. Stop that. And then you try balance later on, but don't take everything from you. You have to eat. You need, you know, you need to have a pleasure, you just need balance. Another thing was about uh, organize my schedule because I was on point for my kids, my house, my clients, but never for myself. And the gym, for example, if I was going two days, I feel so good, then things start getting busy and I always give us, oh, that's not priority, this is priority. Then you taught me, for me help somebody, I have to help myself first. And that's why everything is start like, you know, as a puzzle. Yeah. One piece with another and the, the peach came out. Perfect. <laughs> Almost, right? I still, you still bring me sometime back to the track because sometimes I'm kind of sly, but you are there and the, you help with everything. Thank you. Oh, no, thank That's you. awesome. I'm, I'm, ready. I'm glad you brought that up about like feeling guilt because I think that's the thing that we all get it. Whenever we, first of all, we decide that we want to lose weight and we just go the hard way, right? Like we try to follow diet. We try to eat things that we don't like. And then whenever you eat something that actually gives you some pleasure, you feel the guilt. And it's not supposed to be like that in the first place. First of all, doing a diet that you don't like anything about it is, is already like the wrong way to start because it's really not sustainable. So thanks for bringing that up. And hope this helps other people as well. Before we started our session, you said you were feeling guilt. You were overwhelmed with all the things you were doing, a lot of responsibilities. Is there anything else that you would like to share that you were feeling at the moment and now you don't feel that way anymore? What was like the big problem that you were having that you're not have that you don't have right now? Okay, what I don't have right now, it's something, it's about try to be perfect because that was my problem. Oh, I do everything perfect. Oh, I was not doing at all. So now I feel I change a lot, a lot. <laughs> and uh, I start meditating, doing meditation. And I could do it before. I did not have time. What changed a lot? I have my schedule. And if something changed during the day, it's okay. I don't get so frustrated like, oh, how Oh my God, I can't believe it. And the, you know, like, oh, how could you, blah, 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 to myself. Yeah. A lot of things change that way. I can, I accept myself more, you know, and the, I'm accept, accepting. I'm not perfect. And the, I know I'm trying to do my best. Someday I just don't want to do it and it's okay. Yeah. So my change a lot. And you like, have Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. So like, for example, how would be your schedule before and how is your schedule now? Like your weekly schedule, like, you know, your life. Uh, yeah. Okay. My schedule before was wake up, get the kids ready, uh, sit on the table, start making my phone calls, uh, deal with bank, deal with clients, call the contract, all everything except carry. 
oh, there is time. Okay, let's eat. Oh, there is no time. Don't eat. Then I start getting hungry, hungry. I'm like, then grab the worst thing I could find, the first thing, and eating. Then after feel guilt, but keep my day going. At night, I was think my entire day, and I'm like, oh my god, I did so many things, but I did not do anything. That's pretty much how I was feeling. You didn't do anything for yourself, huh? For my, okay. I did everything for everybody else. Carry, what is carry? So what what were you eating like? when you're like rushing rush rushing getting your kids ready working calling everybody getting all this work done like what would you eat like between like you know what, what would be like your quick snack or your, or your quick meals back there okay so was my kids snacks let's put it let's <laughs> your kids so, snacks <laughs> was goldfish uh rice crisp and cereal uh nutella sanders was that type stuff chocolate you know Coca -Cola, whatever was there <laughs> whatever was there so was and how, how is how is it now how is your eating schedule like how is that going right now right now i wake up i what i start doing i start wake up half hour before i used to and i put myself first not being selfish but you no. know I make my breakfast, oatmeal or protein shake or whatever it is, health. I make my breakfast, I sit in and I eat. After I start work with the kids. Wow. Yeah, and then I have alarm on around my snack. I grab an apple or whatever it is. So my fridge, it's full of food. Something never happened before. Before you used to call the Chinese place or whatever, it's close to my my house. They already know it was me. They did not yeah. even ask oh, any information. They already know where I was living, blah, blah, blah. Now I think they kind of miss me a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure. The and then you do, you do your groceries and you have everything you need at home. Yes. That's so awesome. I change a lot. It seems like somebody may be here like, oh, I do that. I'm like, oh my God. But that's a big deal for who was always on the go, go, go. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. It is. And I and can just see it. You look amazing. Now, every time now I see you, I'm like, <laughs> girl, you're glowing. What are you doing? <laughs> you just, oh my you're just like, you totally change it. It's so amazing. It's like 20, how many pounds less? You, when we started in May, you mm -hmm. were, can I say your weight or not? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you were one, <laughs> 151 and mm -hmm. then in like three months, you dropped all the way to 135 and you have been there. But I see a lot of changes in your face because of the way you change your nutrition. And we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, I think I'm gonna ask a little bit more about that in my next questions. But, but from following your journey, I know exactly where you're eating because we talk about that when we first started. And then, and then as we talk every two weeks in your sessions, every time we talk, you have new updates. So I'm like, for example, you just told me a few months ago, they, some, some weeks you're not having a lot of time to go to the gym, but your nutrition was the same. You're eating to feel good. You're eating more high nutrient dense foods instead of worrying about calories or worrying about, you know, eating too little. So it's just the mindset changed. And now it's just like, that's the way you eat. That's the way you live your life. So, uh, Carrie, okay. so, I just want to just go over everything you achieved for the past six months that we have been working together. I'm sure you probably don't remember some of these goals because you actually had one goal. I remember when we first talked, our first session, your one goal was to lose weight, right? <laughs> that was yeah. the one goal. But what happens is like, in order to achieve this one goal, you have, you just change so many things in your life. 
And I just want to go over very quick. And then, and then you just tell us, like, how do you feel today? Okay. okay. So you lost 16 pounds and kept off. So basically, you lost the 16 pounds in your first three months by change your lifestyle, by change your eating habits. And, and, and we know like you went to Brazil, you had all these holidays, you were sick for a week, you didn't have time to work out and you always were able to keep and you, you're just looking better every single day, which I love about your transformation. It's really, because it's really not about losing the weight, it's about feeling and looking your best. And that's the outcome, right? So this is one of the things you achieved 16 pounds down. You have been working out at least three times a week for the past six months. Yeah. You're doing meditation <laughs> twice a day. You started uh, trying to do once a day and now you just told me you're doing twice a day. Uh, you reduce the amount of meat you are eating. You almost cut 100% off your da the dairy and bacon from your diet. Mm -hmm. And you learn it to make better choice when you go out for business meetings. You used to struggle a lot. Uh, I was mentioned that you used to eat a lot of meats and you didn't know what to eat. You go for you go out a lot with investors, and that was a struggle for you to learn how to eat when you were out, and you were able to learn that. So can you share a little bit about everything with everybody? Because I I really believe this is <laughs> all the things that everybody are struggling right now so yeah so uh, what you said before i have a lot of meetings and the ways i don't know what it is but realtor and the uh, investor real estate investor love to have meet at the restaurant the brazilian one brazilian one where the hotel and uh, i love red meat so every time I was going out, or right, you talk, you laugh, and, and the meats keep it coming, and you don't pay attention. Say, oh, yes, 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 yes. So it was easy. And then I told you, like, oh, my God, it's so hard for me, Grace, because I really like the food. And the, for me to say no, it's kind of like almost take a piece of me. Then you told me, Okay, so why are you doing start little by little? What can you see you don't gonna miss much? You start by that. Then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe pork. Because I used to eat a lot of bacon, those, a lot of those type things. And I'm like, okay, I can start with bacon. Then, okay, I will start cut off bacon. Then after I'm like, you know, I don't need that much meat. Let me start with this salad. Then I get a meat later because I never pass by the salad. Vegetables and salad, I'm like, oh, <laughs> really? Call me, wait, you want to fight? Give me that plate then. Because you're paying a lot of money too, right? When you go to a Rodizia. <laughs> and then when you go, you eat as much as you want and the price, we all know. how. It's the same, yeah. So you want to make work. Yeah. Then, but I was like, okay, I ate everything, but I feel like a crap. Sorry for the word. I feel really bad right now. What's the word? Then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start eating salad. So I took all the bacon off, pork and everything. Then I'm like, okay, let me try the chicken. So I try balance and everything. And another thing I used to eat a lot was cheese. You know, and uh, you sent me something to watch. Um, I don't remember the Game Changers documentary. Yeah, and that was like whoa, right? I'm like, oh my god, I am. I felt so bad for so many things, and then uh, I want to grow old and watch my kids grow. I don't want to just have like short life and big belly. <laughs> yeah. It's because the game changes is about the impact in your overall life, not just about you, right? Yeah. And another thing was start thinking about my kids. Like I want to be around, I want to have energy. 
So let's not put it, what is priority right now? And that was my kids and my lifestyle. So I start changing, I start eating more salad, vegetables, and uh, for example, to, uh, potato. I like potato, but I thought potato was not good. And one day I'm like, oh, I, mi I miss potato. And they're like, what's wrong with potato? And I'm like, but I love rice and beans. Then you say, what's wrong with that too? Why you don't eat? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Because the diet, the first thing they cut off on the regular diet I did before was the rice, beans, and potatoes. I'm like, okay. So crazy, then, right? It's it so is. crazy. And the, you say, no, have your rice, have your beans, have your potato, just balance. And I'm like, wow. And they start feel better. And the, I start cutting meat, cut off meat, like, okay, let's have like three times on the week. Let's say I have two times on the week. Now I have two times, one time, sometimes I don't have at all, but it's nothing like pushing myself, like you can't. It's just like, oh, I'm not in the mood. Can I have fish? And they say, learning, enjoy and other stuff. But of course I still have my meat, just not as much. <laughs> I love that. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing everything. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now I just want to talk about one thing. So, you, you, how frustrated are you when you are trying to lose the weight by yourself? You're trying to follow all these diets, go like I'll win and then make maybe make one mistake and then give up. Like, how how did it feel for you? Like when you're trying to do all that by yourself? Uh, it was very very frustrating. One was, oh, was not good feeling at all. I give you an example. I have a wedding to go in two months, example. Mm -hmm. I stopped eating everything. Then I dropped the weight, like, fast. I always looked, like, sick. All right, uh, the, feet, uh, the dress was closer. <laughs> this was closing. But I was, I did not have the energy. I was moody. You know, because it's terrible to be hungry. Mm -hmm. I think we agree on that. So I was moody and uh, I was skinny, but my face, I was not happy with. I'm like, okay, I saw, I went to the wedding, I was going back eating like crazy. So it was frustrating. It was upside down, you know? Yeah. How their diets, that's how I said. And uh, was not good. Even when I was skin, I got the, the point I want, but was not health way. Was not good. I never really enjoyed that feeling because mm -hmm. always something, and always was coming back. And uh, and sometimes when it was coming back, it was more than it was I was before. The, it did not work it out. Okay. It was bad. I know exactly how it is because I I was like that for years myself until I got educated. Until I I think it's like the magic happens when you get some knowledge, you get help, and you change your mindset right now you're thinking about the long term what's the impact that this meal is having in my life overall like my skin my body my mood how i sleep so when you get that then it's life-changing right do you agree i agree like totally um and the guilt we all have in life you know, to try to do everything perfect and to try to do everything. And uh, we want everything fast. Yeah, true. You have, like, what you helped me with a lot was educating myself and learn about myself. Because a lot of things I did not even know I like it. A lot of things I did not even know I could be without. And I like a lot of things I could not know I can have, you know, and still enjoy. And uh, just have like a um, balance. And some things I thought I like a lot. No, I didn't. <laughs> was just wow. was there was on the meal. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. 
you, do you think it was just because like you're used to eating certain things so you're like just used to that lifestyle like no reason <laughs> no it was like for example uh home i was uh i hate a supermarket i hate go to shopping i hate doesn't matter what type of shopping but i'm like after i learn okay what do i like to eat what do i like to buy as a food talking mm -hmm. and it was changed it was changed totally how i was going to the supermarket i have my list ready i know where to go so i was not like walking back and forth and one thing to talk about make a big deal every time you go to the supermarket before eat yeah <laughs> you never go hungry because you start buying things yeah. and put it and you ended up eating because what you're gonna do you feel guilt to throw in the garbage you're like i work like crazy so i'm gonna throw my money straight to the garbage now i'm gonna eat i'm gonna yeah. get we're gonna eat. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the one thing I tell all my clients. When you go do your groceries, you're going to Costco, you're do, going to Trader Joe's. It's like you're gonna have a big line, you're gonna spend a lot of energy, have a meal before because you're gonna get there and you're gonna be hungry and you're gonna eat like a bunch of snacks. If you go to Costco, I mean, before COVID, we used to eat all these snacks, remember? Like, I would go to Costco sometimes. <laughs> eat a bunch of stuff and feel like shit sometimes <laughs> so everything changes when you eat your meal before you go do groceries you feel happy <laughs> yeah and if you don't eat there but you still look at the product right there and look so good i'm like i want to eat this when i get home you start putting yeah. your at least mean it's unbelievable yeah. then now i'm for i'm like oh let i read oh no thanks oh uh, yes maybe oh uh, no sure if i'm not sure let me put it back so it's yeah. so much better. and uh, it's it's a big uh, change that's awesome i <laughs> love it thank you so much for sharing everything <laughs> oh thank you grace you were just like and i'm very agitated like i i a uh, little hyper let's put it that way and you were so calm like i'm like oh my god i could go to the gym i could do that and do you like carry okay 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 let's put it away what could you do then i'm like uh what did you do and then i'm like oh i did this this and you're like oh look at you did so many things then you change it, the mood it's unbelievable i always feel so like i did not do this 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 and instead you always tell me okay let's sit there good side the bright side what did you do and i'm like i did this this and i'm like oh after all it was not that bad thank you no. yeah you always did a lot of things every two weeks we had our session you would like of course you always reach to the maximum right like i remember some days you would say oh i want to work out five times a week and i was like are you gonna work five times a week no how many times do you really think you can do three times a week okay then do that for the next two weeks you're gonna do three times a week and you did you have been doing it <laughs> yeah and that way you feel like you accomplish you know as a foul because they always just say care okay let's instead of doing 100 let's do 50 because you get on 50 you feel good then you want to do more and i never thought like that always i want to go zero to 100 like right away yeah that's never happening so it's you, like, get bur you get burnout like everybody you know yeah it's not easy you are very calm person very positive and that's i think everybody needs someone like you in our life like bring us like you know always see the good side see the positive because it's hard <laughs> it is hard it, life is not easy and taking care of your health is not easy because there's so much distraction right to get to a way you know have anything health healthy you know have a health lifestyle so now i of course i see these tangible change uh when i look at you because i know i you know we spoke since day one 
but just so everybody knows, what is the most tangible change you see in yourself today when you look in the mirror, when you wear a dress, when you go out? What's the biggest change you have in your life today? Okay, on my life, I learn how to take care of myself. Like, I learn, I am a priority. Just, and when I, how can I tell you? It's just like when you were on the airplane, before you help anybody else, you have to put your oxygen mask on first, or you cannot help nobody, right? Yeah. So you have to take care of. The big change is like, I, like to take care of myself and I don't feel guilt off. And when I put a clothes, I'm like, oh my God, look good. And I'm like, I like what I'm seeing. So I wanna keep doing, and you know, keep keeping doing better, better. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I feel like, oh, this pants a little bit tired, instead be upset. I'm getting another jeans, I put another jeans. And I remember when you were eating that jeans home, <laughs> was not close and comfortable so let's see very light so i today i feel much more secure as a person as a woman as a human being and i, I like what i'm seeing and i just want to keep going and sometimes yes sometimes i'm like oh i just i'm tired if it, i went through a bad day then i'm like wait carrie you don't want to go back where you are. Look at you. You don't want to go back there. So let's just take the day off and do start over again tomorrow. So yeah, that's the big change. I accept myself. Love it. So would you recommend this to anybody that's looking to lose weight, change the way they approach uh, physical activity or healthy eating? Would you recommend this to anybody? I, I recommend to everyone, even people at the supermarket, if they have five minutes to talk about food, uh, like another day I was, I have my cart, they were like, oh my God, that's, I don't understand. All the pretty girls have, uh, have everything together. <laughs> I told her like, oh no, honey, I wish you met me a few months ago. First, you're never going to see me at the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> It was a long process. Then I start talking. She's like, oh, that's amazing. And I met a friend, um, Bia, like few, three days ago. She's like, Carrie, if I did not know you won this program with Grace, I'm going to think you did something. You did like something on your face, on your body, because you look at totally different. Like, it's unbelievable. Then I say, I know, right? everybody said some the same stuff and they see the difference they don't see it, it step by step they just remember the before and then now you know yeah then i was telling her she's like oh it, that's so amazing works so fast i'm like uh it's not about work fast it's about like you know persistent the you process yeah you went through the process so it was not like morning and night it was done yeah and they definitely recommend it it's amazing like how you if you change your mind your lifestyle everything's come with like you lose the weight the, my point was lose the weight now i'm so happy like okay i dropped the weight but the, grace you are not going nowhere you have a lot of things <laughs> you know i'm like i can't be without you i'm not ready <laughs> because okay what's the weight now we work on my career goals. You work on so many other things. The, way, the weight what brought me here. Yeah. And the weight's not the thing anymore, you know, because I, I got to the point how I want to be, but it will help in so many ways. And the mind is unbelievable. So definitely I recommend guys, I will not say this here if I did not believe. And the, uh, it's amazing how things change. You just have to give yourself time and uh, never give up because it's, wow, it's unbelievable. I look at myself, I cannot believe. Like my kids cannot believe. Like my husband, he's like, 
wait, what? You don't gonna eat this? I'm like, no, actually, I'm, I don't want to. He's like, okay, <laughs> I will wait for you. I'm like, you should not. Yeah. And he, oh, I save here for you. I'm like, you can put in the fridge. He put in the fridge with that three days going to garbage because it's not something I think would be worth for me, like, you know. Do you remember every time, even when you were on the talk on Zoom, I have that Oreo jar next to me and I'm like, I am making it so hard to stop eating these things. Yeah, and I remember. You told me, like, I know you have kids, so you have a lot of snacks, but believe one time you're gonna have control of them. Like, right, right, and it's true. Now I have so many Oreos that it, it, they like, I'm passed by, and because I'm full, I'm happy. And uh, I pass by, I give to them and I don't take one for myself. Of course, sometimes I'm a cheater. Go back, Iri. Then after, oh, it's not even that good. But the day I want, I can. So That's definitely amazing. everybody, like, it's not just about weight, it's about lifestyle. Yeah, I love that. I love to hear that because well, that's the point that is the point like i think like food's not just food i feel like food is just like a bunch of code right you're putting into your body just think of all like you're you're like the software right and you're programming yourself so more you put junk inside more you're gonna crave that junk and less you put less you're gonna crave because now you're actually eating things that's nourishing your body you feel good and of course, when you feel like eating a sweet, eat it. You know, you're all human, <laughs> but not every day. <laughs> not every day. That's exactly what always tell me. Okay, have. Just don't have every day. So that's really, it's so helpful. Yeah. And it's a process, really. Like, I really believe it's, it's a journey. And every day you can always learn more about yourself, be an expert in you. Don't expect you know, a, a doctor to, to tell you what to do. More you're an expert in you, more you're going to have control of what's coming, right? Your outcome, like how you're going to get old. You're going to be healthy or you're going to have a bunch of issues or you're going to hate the way you look. Like it's about taking control of everything and be an expert in you so you can be happy and feel the, your best. That's what it, it is about it. So. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing everything. Oh, no, you are very welcome. It's my pleasure. I really love talk about it because something helped me so much. And if I could tell everybody, I will. So, because it's amazing. The way I feel, I, I just want everybody to feel, have the same feeling because it's so good when you are help, happy with yourself and the, everything else will come with. True. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So right now I just have another question for you. I am working on creating, uh, so I wanted this to be more like a, more like a community, right? Of people with the same mindset, same goals. And I want everybody to help each other, encourage each other, because sometimes I think like your husband supports you, right? Your family supports you, I I think. Uh, but a lot of people don't have that support. And I just wanna build like this community of people that can support each other through the struggles, through the wins. So I'm creating, uh, right now I'm creating like a group where I'm gonna be teaching some of the things that we covered in our, in our health coaching uh calls and i just want to ask you if you have any recommendation like what do you think i could have what's something that would help you so if you can just share with me if you have any recommendation what what can i do better that would be great i would appreciate it oh my god you were so i, I value your feedback <laughs> a lot you were so good like one thing I think it's really good like a lot of people include myself it's hard to learn to uh, start cooking health 
you know, yeah. very hard. The recipe, I think, you know, lunch, recipe, dinner, snack, I think that will help a lot. More recipe ideas. Yeah. So do you prefer like to make one quick meal or do you prefer to like cook a meal that's going to give you like, I mean, cook a, a, a bigger portion that will give you like three or two meals so you don't have, you know, to cook and clean and do all this work for just one meal. So what do you prefer? I know some people, they get sick of eating like two of the same meals. How do you think about it? Uh, for It's like more the day. How is the day is going? I think like someday you have you have that main carry. Someday yeah. I want to cook, so I want to cook like for three four days. But someday I'm like, I just want one meal there fast, quick. So, okay. So I'll be between both. I because I think both. You need both. Yeah, you need both. I'm the same way. I do. Uh, do a like I like to cook whenever I'm on the kitchen I like to cook something that's gonna give me like two meals like one for me and one for my husband two other right so if I'm making like a pasta I usually make the pasta with the lentils and some greens I had I make that for dinner and then I really need to have like two more for the next day you know so it's worth it your trip to the kitchen you gotta put the dishes away and all that so uh, I do have a lot of uh, strategies to to put like a quick meal together any given time. <laughs> That's how I live, actually. <laughs> because two things that's impossible, right? It's impossible for you to get all your nutrition from eating outside all the time because the problem is not the salt or the if, even if you're using a little bit sugar at home. Uh, or if you're, if you're using a little bit oil at home, that's not the problem. The problem of always eating out is because you don't know what they're putting inside your food. It could be the yeah. cheapest thing out there, right? So it's convenient, yes, but yeah. you have zero control. Yeah, and that's one thing I change a lot. Like, uh, I felt so like blow, like a balloon. Since I try, I uh, start eating more from home. I feel like the balloon kind of <laughs> gets smaller, yeah. and my face is changing because it's sixteen pounds. But when I put it the clothes, makes such a huge difference. When you told me I carry sixteen pounds, I'm like, wait, what? I thought it was at least like thirty pounds. What are you talking about? Then we went back and it was, but. It's how the body change. Yeah, it's, the shape, the body composition. The weight is just the weight. But if you're eating more high nutrient food, now your metabolism is also faster than before, right? Because it's like this, you're eating vegetables, you're eating like your, your protein, you're eating your good carbs. So you're using the fuel like this. And then also you're working out, so you're definitely building some lean muscles on the way. So you cannot just look at the weight. I don't, I don't like to look at the weight. A lot of people, they get stuck with the weight. Like, I have to be 120 pounds or I'm not happy. Maybe that's not the weight your body wants to be. Maybe your body yeah. is, likes to be at 123 and you can be happy and have energy and that's okay. Like you yeah. can just look yourself in the mirror and love what you see. That's what the matters, you know? So Yeah, that's so true. You look amazing. Like your face is just like beautiful. You just like, you oh got so teeny. Like I, every time we talk, I tell you that because I saw your transformation and it makes me so happy, really. So. Oh my, thank you so much. Yeah, oh my god, I'm like, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Yeah, we're and gonna continue. We're gonna continue. And the <laughs> one thing that the one thing that I love to talk about it is that it's it starts with one problem that you fix, and now you're happy and healthier to take care of other part of your life. So which now we're going to be covering your next six months. You're going to be focusing more on, on primary foods, which is not food. It's everything in your life that's not just food.
food. And I will create another video to talk about that. But I'm very excited for your new six months. You know, you achieved amazing goals mm -hmm. for the past six months. Amazing transformation. And I'm sure you're going to continue to achieve your goals for the coming six months, for the coming year. So I'm very excited for you. And, mm -hmm. and congratulations for loving yourself enough to go through this transformation because it's not easy it's not easy at all it, it takes self-love courage discipline dedication you know <laughs> you know what i'm talking about it seems like impossible in the beginning but oh my god after you're like wow yeah and it becomes so much easier and like it become like part of your day so you don't feel obligation. You don't see as an obligation anymore. So that's a good thing about it. And, and I also like, sorry. No, 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 I say, and you support because sometimes when I'm feel, oh, now I know I can reach out. If I'm going, I'm tired of my food. You always have a, a like, oh, so try this. And I'm like, okay, so you always there. That's make much easier for everything. Yeah. Thank you. And, and that's why I wanted to build this community as well, because there's more to be shared, right? Like with me, I'm learning every day. Every day I'm learning, I'm reading books, I'm getting educated so I can keep on improving myself because we can just keep on learning every single day, right? Yeah. That's it. Maybe today you like to eat brown rice. Maybe tomorrow you don't like to eat brown rice anymore. Then you got to eat something else and that's fine. So as long as you listen to your body, listen to your body for real and, and make the right decisions, everything works out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I thank you so much for coming here today and spending your time with me and sharing your transformation with everybody. I'm sure it's going to be super helpful and I hope we can do this again. Of course. The same way, like, I want to say thank to you and thank for being there for me and uh, help me and understand myself and uh, help me reach my goals. I really appreciate it, Grace. I really mean, you know that. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> thank you. Okay, guys. So this is it for today. Stay tuned because we're going to make many of these videos uh, going forward, I want to share more transformation with you. And I see you for the next video. Bye. Bye, Karen. Bye.